Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Japanese account on your PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and begin on Your6 Studios. Now that we're signed into our PlayStation 4, let's go ahead and hold down the PlayStation button on our PlayStation and go ahead and go down to power and select power and then go to switch user or log out of your PlayStation 4 once this menu goes away. And let's go ahead and log out. And from here, we're going to be able to create a new account on our PlayStation 4 after we press the PlayStation button. And I have a bunch of different accounts on my PlayStation 4 already. So let's go to new user. And then go to create a user. Accept. And then let's go to next under this menu. And it's going to ask us to sign into PlayStation Network. Let's scroll down to new to PlayStation Network, create an account. So go ahead and hit that. And then on this menu, we're going to want to go to sign up now and select that. And from here, we're going to have to type in or select a region and go to Japan right now and select Japan. And once you do that, everything is going to turn over to Japanese instead of English. So everything's going to get difficult to read after this. So let's go ahead and put that in right now. And as you can see, the lettering up top is all Japanese now and is asking for your birthday. So let's go ahead and type that in. And my birthday, by the time this video is released, will probably have passed. So let's go June uh, 17th of 1989 I am getting old and then let's go down to next and then this page right here if you want a Japanese account it is asking for an area code or a zip code let's go ahead and put 100 and then four zeros and that's a million so that's in there and then this all should be good it's all check marked let's go to next and I believe that's a Tokyo zip code I put in. And under here, we can go in and type in an email address. And you can type in literally any email address you want if you use Yopmail. Y-O-P mail.com. All right, so at Yopmail.com. And if you've never been there, you can literally create any email address you want. And then you don't have to have a password. You can just go to Yopmail, sign in with that email. And uh, anything that's sent to the email, you can go ahead and verify your account and make an account real easy on the PlayStation Network or really any other or any service out there. You can just make an email address real quick at Yopmail. So let's go ahead and put in PS4 is rad at Yopmail. Just like that at the end. Yopmail.com. And uh, let's go ahead and go to next R2. And it should be check marked after that. As you can see, we are verified. And now just type in any password you want. And then if you don't want stuff sent to you, uncheck mark all these options down here, these two little check marks. And then go ahead and go to next. For me, I'm just using Yelp Mail, so it doesn't matter if something gets sent to me because it will be deleted eventually. And then let's go ahead and click on a avatar. And I think I'm going to pick one of these female characters up top right here. Let's select this one. And now we're going to have to come up with an online ID. And I'm not really concerned what my username will be on this because I will probably just use it to download games from. And uh, then I'll switch over to my main account and use those games. So let's go with Lento Buggle, wherever that is. And then let's type in a first name. Let's go with, I don't know. Let's go with Timbo. No, I already have that. Timo. Let's go with Timo then. Timo Sir Cool. That's a very creative name right there. Okay. Timos are cool. And let's go to next. <laughs> and then this is just PlayStation settings. We can change this after we go ahead and create this account if we want. And then let's scroll down and go to next. You can change all these settings later on. And then let's go to next. And then this is pretty much a term of service thing. Go to the right one and select next. 
So let's go ahead and select next. And now it's going to try to have us verify our PlayStation account with an email address. And I believe the top one is it's not verified. And it's going to send you another email. And the bottom was it's already verified. And this one right here on the far left is I believe that is I'll do this later or skip something. So let's go ahead and go to my email address on Yoke Mail. And then under your email address, go ahead and just select this blue middle marker right here, this box right here, and that will verify your PlayStation account. And there we go, we're checkmarked. Okay, so let's go ahead and select the bottom option right now, since our email address is verified. And here's our account right here. Let's go ahead and press OK to this. And then let's click the far left option. And this part sometimes is a little bit slower when it loads. I don't know why. And let's press OK to this. And we're going to have to try again. Let's go to the left option. Okay, so it may take a few times backing in and out and going to the left option to finally bring up this um, menu right here. And just go ahead and select the far left box. You might have to scroll down and go to the far left to get to this. Now that it's highlighted, let's go ahead and select it. And then it's going to go ahead and start creating our account. And this part might take a little bit to load. So just be patient. You can always go back and then forward again like you did for the last screen. Okay, so I, I hit the back button because I was getting bored of waiting. And then this popped up right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and press OK to this. And it is pretty much saying that the PlayStation Network sign-in information has been saved onto my PlayStation 4. So that's a good thing. And here is my new profile. Timo Sir Cool. All right, excellent. Now I'm logging into my PlayStation account, my Japanese created account on my PlayStation 4. And then if we scroll over to the PlayStation Store, you can see everything is in English still. However, that is fine. Everything is normal when you go to the PlayStation Store. However, that's when things might get a little bit more difficult because everything will be in Japanese in the PlayStation Store. And there's going to be different deals on here. There's going to be different highlighted games. And I believe it's going to be a different currency also. So have fun trying to navigate this PlayStation Store. You might have to bring up your own. You still can go to the search function up here on the top and search with English characters, which will help you out significantly looking for anything on the PlayStation Store that you want to go to. And if you're someone who doesn't like having uh, English all over their Japanese account, you can scroll up to the top and go over to settings and go down to languages real quick and go to system language and change this to Japanese and go down to input language and change the keyboard and user dictionary to Japanese from here. Everything on your PlayStation 4 should be in Japanese. If this video helped you out in terms of making a Japanese profile on your PlayStation 4, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and check out some of the other amazing videos coming up next on your six studios.